going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i got some things to share with you all um again you know i told you in the past i have a lot of um hauls coming in um <clears throat> whether i ordered from from friends or from companies or trades or what have you um, from groups I'm a part of a lot of the stuff's still rolling in so just wanted to make a quick video and share uh, some of the new pickups with you guys I don't know if I've included this one lately enough in a video this is a, a, a cool pickup I just got is the um, single barrel select uh, for total wine store pick of Eagle Rare uh, yeah so just got that in, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the Placencia Amo Del Fuego. And you guys know how bad I am with my Southern accent. Uh, Omo Tempe cigar. Um, been really excited to try this one. Heard nothing but great things about it. And we're also gonna be unboxing a, uh, a box of um, Opus X Double Robusto Tubos. So, got those in. So, figured I would run through all this with you guys and share with you. So, let's start. Let's start here with these three beauties. So, this is the Placencia Amatepe. Uh, comes in a glass tube. I got some pieces of a sticker on my finger. But it comes in a glass tube. Uh, you see the moisture on these as I actually have I've had them sitting in my humidor for a few few days um, and just took them out and set, laid them on the desk 30 minutes ago. But come in a glass tube, beautiful presentation. Um, but this is, and let's see if I pick it up. And that is the uh, information but these are magnetic. So this is the, the cigar itself. So apparently the tobacco uh, for the wrapper is grown in volcanic ash in Nicaragua uh, in the Oma Tempe region. It's the first time that's ever been done to my knowledge. Um, and this is like a Figurato shaped slight box, box press cigar. So now that I have my hands on three of these, I plan to do a, an actual sit down review of these for you guys. So, there they are in all their beauty. <laughs> uh, my wife ask how come they made the uh the tube in this shape again it was for the cigar because it's obviously a, a figurado shape or tor torpedo shape but i can see what she's saying with this uh, if you get it you get it if you don't oh well uh, but i'm gonna leave that leave that there but as these get closer together like i said they're magnetic so they they don't want to stay together. But again, these are uh, six inch by 54 ring gauge, slight box press. Um, and these are new to the market. They just come out in uh, June of this year, June 24. So looking forward to, to not only smoking one of those, but also reviewing it with, with you all. Because again, it is a is a very expensive cigar at hundred dollars each. You know, I've seen a lot of places are selling them for hundred and twenty to hundred and fifty each, um, which in my mind is robbery when brick and mortars do that. But um, it could be there could be a lot of hesitation, you know, whether you guys want to want to try it or not. Nobody sponsors my channel. Nobody pays for anything on my channel but me. So. Um, I'm gonna give you my honest review each time. So I'll review it, and if you wanna invest the 
the hundred plus dollars into it to try it, feel free. Um, if, if I don't like it, you don't, you think you want based on my review, then, you know, hopefully it helps you. But again, nobody sponsors anything on my channel. Um, all opinions are my own. I pay for everything out of my pocket. Um, so even if I did have sponsors, I'm not going to lie to you guys to make you want to buy something. I smoke Cubans. I smoke Davidoff. I smoke Placencia. I smoke Opus X. Everything you see on my channel, I like. And I get it because I like it. Not because somebody's paying me to like it. Um, and I'll be honest with you guys. I had a company send me <clears throat> one of their cigars, or three of their cigars, and wanted me to do a review on them. Um, and I made a deal with them, you know, that I, I would as long as my opinion can be my own. Uh, they agreed, but I smoked one. Um, and I'm not going to say any names, but I thought it was the worst cigar I've ever had. I couldn't make it through, through the first, third. Um, and I just replied back, hey, I'm happy to send you the other two back if you want them. But um, my mom told me if I had nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I don't feel like I should review these cigars. But And I'm just being honest with, with, with the company there. It's just, they were just not a good cigar at all. But here we go. We got the beautiful lacquered finish box on the Opus X. Uh, Lost City. This is a beautiful presentation, which you come to expect from um, Arturo Fuente and Carlito. Carlito, in my mind, is the best in the business. The most has the most impact on of anybody in the industry. And again, that's my opinion. You know. People can disagree if they want. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> I see him in person and in on social media supporting, you know, local brick and mortars all over the country. Uh, and what he's done for the industry is just wonderful. And I'll always continue to support him and their business because I, I love their cigars. It's my all-time favorite cigar. Look at this beauty. Got the nice velvet interior. And again, I have several, several, several of these. And the Robusto, Toro, Double Robusto, and the Humidor. This is the authenticity sheet, and it shows all the sizes that the cigar comes in. I'd also have the Lost City and the Carlitos A size that I reviewed on the channel. But these are the double Robustos. And in my mind, these are kind of right on par with the, the Don Carlos double Robusto tubos. <clears throat> they just age well. You know, sitting in this tubo with that cedar sleeve around it, um, it just really, really helps the aging process on these cigars that beautiful wrapper and beautiful band just perfection and if you have never smoked an aged Lost City Double Robusto you are really 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 missing out um, and these I mean these are good out of the box don't get me wrong but these were the year Two years, three years, they just every year get better. So if you've never ever tried these uh, with some age on them, if you have one in your humidor, let it let it sit. And maybe one of the only times you hear me say that, but let it sit, and you will thank me later. These things are beautiful. Um, the Lost City, you know, everybody knows the story how that come about, but. Um, these were a masterpiece by, by Carlito and a, and a hell of an idea. Um, so they grow this tobacco, and I'm sure you all know the, 
the story, but they grow this tobacco in the off season and it all originated with the Lost City movie. They wanted to shoot a scene and it was off season for, for tobacco, but they grew it anyways. And I think Carlito recognized how great the tobacco was and decided to make this cigar in honor of the, the movie and to not waste all the tobacco. And it just turned into what it is today and it's freaking amazing. But again, um, love this, like I said, The Lost City, directed by Andy Garcia at the Chateau de la Fuente in July of 2004. Um, and again, this is the 2023 edition. Each year, these come out again. Can be hard to get, um, but if you look, you can find them. But yeah, just wanted to share that. And again, this Vitola is a uh, 52 ring gauge by five and three quarter, um, all Dominican Republic, uh, Dominican Republic. Um, so Dominican Puro, put it that way. And this box here, depending on where you look, you can find them for about 285 to 350 a box. Some places charge more, again, some try to rob you, but, um, they come, the, the double Robusto tubos come with eight in a box. Tor, Toros Robustos are 10. And I think you can get the double Robusto, not in the tubo, but just the double Robusto. Uh, yeah, and it comes in a box of 10. Comes in a pyramid as well. Pyramid scored really high on um, Cigar Aficionado, but all of these are just freaking wonderful. And of course you can get the assortment. The one thing this one doesn't point out is the um, Lost City uh, Carly Jose. <clears throat> Which I'll jump up real quick and grab a few of these for the guys that haven't seen them um, or hadn't seen the video. Sorry, I know I'm rocking the camera, but this is the Carly Jose. I think these are like nine and a half inches long by 48. 49 something like that, but Yeah, they and you see they're they're larger than the box. So um, Again this Authenticity card doesn't recognize these because these are not a standard release. They're really a special release by by Fuente, so Really these are really hard to get and very expensive um, Every time I've seen them they're about eight to nine hundred dollars a box and they'll only go up from there because like I said, they're just so hard to get. And when guys get their hands on them, they don't want to let them go. But uh, I've seen a lot of people uh, in, in my giveaway video talked about the, the Aventus. It just bottles about empty. I keep it here in my office and wear it. have this bottle. This is my little travel bottle that I take with me on business trips. But I know this is a cigar channel, but again, that's my favorite all time cologne. If you've never tried it, stop by St Neiman Marcus, Saks, uh, give it a shot. Um, it's expensive, but my God, it's, it's good. You'll get compliments everywhere you go. So again, thank you guys. I'm gonna get these tucked away in the humidor, but thank you guys for joining me today. And uh, I hope you enjoy the content and I'll keep it coming. Have a great one. Thank you.